single family homeowners and owners of condos, is it too late for you to add the disclosure for the exemption under the Tenants Protection Act of 2019, exempting your property or your tenancy from California statewide eviction and rent control? Hi, my name is Rob Wells. I'm the Landlord Warrior on TikTok and YouTube. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe to our videos. Now, I always get this question a lot from landlords, particularly those that enter into new leases or rental agreements with their tenants on or after July 1st, 2020. Now, let me back up real quick. So, as many of you know, California has statewide eviction and rent control under the Tenants Protection Act of 2019. Um, certain landlords are exempt from the Tenants Protection Act. One of the big exceptions is for owners of single family homes and condos where they own the property as an individual, they're not a real estate investment trust or a REIT or uh, a corporation that owns the property. Now, those owners, if they have one dwelling unit, no ADUs, anything like that, you're exempt from the Tenants Protection Act. However, the legislature made it where these landlords have to provide a special disclosure to their tenants at the onset of their tenancy. If the tenancy started or commenced on or after July 1st, 2020, or if you redo your lease agreement, you offer a new lease to the tenants every year, for example, you have to have a special specific disclosure under the TPA that says, hey, tenant, I'm exempt from the eviction protections and the rent control protections of the TPA. It's codified in uh, Civil Code 1946.2E. Um, subdivision e8 and then there's a separate section for the one for um the rent section under civil code 1947.12 so you have to have that stat that's the um disclosure verbatim now some landlords don't have that disclosure and they think it's the end of the world i'm going to tell you a little secret it's not because the tpa does allow a landlord to add that as an additional term and condition to the lease and and basically the law allows you to do that without any penalty so if you had a, like a year lease for example you can insist on the renewal of the lease hey i need to add this exemption um disclosure to the lease or if you're month to month you can present that to your tenant and tell them hey you need to complete this for me in a reasonable period of time failure of your tenant to come um execute that could give you just cause to terminate their tenancy under the TPA for just cause. So if you have any questions about this, please put them in the comments below. Until next time, talk to you then. Thanks.